I just left Trader Joe's. I got some really, really awesome stuff for the house, so I will show you guys when I get home. Hey guys, so I know it's been a minute since I've done a Trader Joe's haul, and man, did I do a haul. Um, we just moved in this house, so we're still working on some items here and there, and I needed to do like my big grocery haul as far as like condiments and things like that that I just need for the house because I tossed them in the move. So let's just dig in. Um, these I saw from another Trader Joe's vlogger and I had to get them because she said they smell good and she did not lie. They are every bit as good as she made them sound on video. So they're the Mango Tangerine Scented Candles by Trader Joe's. I went ahead and picked up three because I wanted one. I'm gonna mail one to my sister and then my mom's coming for a visit. I'm gonna give her one as well. Um, I picked up a basil so that I can have some fresh basil growing at the house as well as some rosemary. The rosemary I had at the previous house was actually planted, so I couldn't take that with me. So I'm gonna start some new rosemary up at this house. And then I buy plants if they speak to me and this little guy was speaking to me, calling my name, telling me to take him home. He was only $2.99, so I feel like that's a great deal for a succulent. And he makes me happy. Um, and then I picked this up for Reed. It's a pancake bread. So I'm hoping this is good. He was like iffy about if he wanted it or not. And we're gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know how it is. Um, I picked up some sourdough bread because I am really craving a BLT, so I'm going to make one of those. And this is the bread that I'm gonna use for it. And I think I'm gonna also use this for doing like avocado toast and whatnot. Um, I bought some goat cheese. I have all sorts of stuff that I can put on top and I feel like this is a nice hearty bread for it. Like I said, I'm replenishing all of the condiments. So I picked up their organic ketchup and their organic yellow mustard. They were $1.99 each. And I don't know why, but I'm craving this I could also use on this bread as well, but this is the albacore tuna, solid white. It was a dollar, I think 49 a can, something like that. So I can make a little piece of toast with some tuna on it as well. And then I like to make little roll-ups, little sandwiches, all sorts of different things. And I use this whole wheat flour tortillas for it. And I like these because the size is a really good size. And I do like peanut butter jelly, I do peanut butter banana, I do ham and cheese, just like, um, egg and cheese, just anything on it, and they turn out so good. So I love to always keep these on hand. Um, I picked up some roasted garlic hummus. This was, I believe, only $1.99. Now, I don't know what you're doing to me, Trader Joe's, but I couldn't find my typical apples, and I think I usually get the, I, I wanna say gala apples, but that's not it. Anyways, they come in a bag just like this, and the only ones that I could find are these jazz apples. So they were the same price as the other apples that I normally get, but I've never seen this name before, the jazz apples. So I'm gonna give them a try and see how they are. They had sweet Georgia peaches in stock, so I picked up two Georgia peaches that were 59 cents a piece. And then I picked up this hummus with horseradish. I think this is like $1.99 or $1.49, and I like it because I love horseradish and I love hummus, and it says lip smacking and tangy. This unique dip packs a punch, so I'm definitely super excited to try that. I picked up some more grape jelly for Reed. Right now he's got strawberry, so we're just gonna change it up and give him some grape jelly this time around. Um, blueberries, I like to pack those if we're going to the pool or anything like that so that we can munch on healthy snacks there, and they're so refreshing, so I like to bring those. Now these I always pack for Kaylin because these are a great on the go snack as well, such as the pool or the boat or anything like that. But these are the dried apricots and I like them because they come in the little trio pack and they're super handy to have on board. Now, these are the part cherry, part plum. I've never seen these before. They're very cherry plums and I can't remember, I wanna say they were around $5 or something like that. They're so cute and I'm hoping that they're delicious because if they are, they're not gonna last long in this house. Um, and then back to replenishing condiments. I had no, I usually always keep fresh garlic on hand to use for recipes, but this is already premium peeled garlic. Here's the thing, um, it was only $1.99. Normally I wouldn't buy something like that because it's gonna be much more expensive, but it was $1.99. So I will take that all day. Um, I always pick these rice crackers up for Reed. He's already walked in the kitchen and told me that he's gonna be eating those later. He'll eat this entire bag in a day if I let him, but I'm gonna try to limit him on them so that he can make them last a little bit longer than a day. And then, I don't know if you've heard, but I, I guess getting dirty fruit from the store and vegetables is just a real thing now, um, more so than ever before. So I am going to start using this for all of my fruits and vegetables to wash them. And it says that you only add a couple of drops to your um, 
Add a few, apply a few drops directly to produce, massage for approximately 30 seconds, and then rinse thoroughly with water. So I'm gonna start using that just because why not take the extra step to make sure that our family's eating healthy fruits and vegetables. Um, I picked these up because I figured they would be great in the mornings to have with my coffee. They're the mini blueberry scones. They're a little bit soft. I'm guessing that they're gonna harden up a little bit as the days go on. Picked up some strawberries. Trader Joe's has such a great deal on strawberries. These are only $2.99. I feel like that's half the price of what you charge at Publix or something like that. And then on to some more condiments that I just needed to add into the house so that Matthew has something. I'm not a condiments gal, but he definitely is, and he likes to have things in the house. So this is the Asian-style uh, spicy peanut butter vinaigrette for salads, so I picked that up for him. Reed just got over a stomach bug. He got a minor case of it, and so now I am petrified that I'm going to get it. So a friend of mine said to start drinking some of the apple cider vinegar to see if we can't kill viruses in the guts, just in case. I am on the verge of getting that. And then um, I picked up some spicy brown mustard. That was $1.99 as well. And then this glaze, this is like a balsamic glaze. I've had this in the house before. I have no idea what happened to my last bottle, but I love it because it's kind of like a syrup, but it's the balsamic glaze and I believe it was $2.99. So definitely like to add that to like anything that you're making to add that little bit of flavor, like a pizza, a flatbread, anything of that uh, line. Okay, so I always pick these up because they are the cheapest in town. You get 12 of these. They're the decaf coffee cups, medium roast, and I can't do regular coffee, so it's hard for me to even find decaf, but they're only $4.99 for 12. It's like one coffee at Starbucks. Um, Reed picked this up and put it in the cart, and I'm never gonna say no to my kids putting fruit in the cart, so I'm gonna slice that up so it's ready to eat, and that way we will actually eat it and not watch it roll around in my refrigerator until it rots. Um, this is my favorite treat that I love to have instead of going to Starbucks. This is the matcha green tea latte powder and you just add that to whole milk, shake it up and drink it. It's literally the exact same thing that they're giving you in Starbucks and this whole container is one drink at Starbucks. I think it's $3.99 and it's more than that to get one grande matcha green tea latte from Starbucks. These, I'm gonna be seeing my niece soon because um, we are gonna go to the Ozarks. My sister has a lake house in the Ozarks and we're gonna go visit them for a week in 16 days, nobody's counting. Um, and I'm so excited. Hi, Charlene, I know you're watching this. But um, I picked these up for my niece. She loves these. Anything that has the oil pack, she's really into. So I'm gonna bring these to her. I'm sure she'll eat them while we're in the, the lake house in the Ozarks, which is fine and dandy. Um, Big bites, I have to get these every time I go and they're so cheap, they're only $2.99, so I like to have those as a healthy alternative snack, but then you still feel like you're having a treat, honestly. Um, Reed picked out the original puffins for his cereal this week, so he will be eating that. There's no cereal at Trader Joe's that I frown upon because of the sugar content, so, and honestly, once in a blue moon, I like to have a bowl of Lucky Charms, so. Not healthy, but it definitely hits my craving. I picked up some organic mayonnaise, again onto the condiment path, and then if you guys haven't ever had sweet chili sauce, I've never tried Trader Joe's, but sweet chili sauce is my favorite. I like to put it on everything, mostly chicken nuggets and things like that. These Matthew has looked for forever. They usually always have just milk chocolate covered mini pretzels, but these are dark chocolate mini pretzels. So I'm gonna hide these in the back of the pantry until he gets home so he can have those. I picked these up for Reed. Every time I go to Trader Joe's and it, he literally eats this box in, I don't know, a week's time. He would eat pancakes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner if I let him, which I don't let him. <laughs> uh, these kind of piqued my interest. I was like, they're either gonna be delicious or disgusting, so I will try them and let you know, but they're the oat and Greek yogurt sandwich cookies. So they're filled with a yogurt cream, and let's see here, serving size is one cookie, nine per container and it's 140 calories per cookie, so I'll try those and let you know what I think. Uh, I heard some good things about this macaroni and cheese for Reed. Uh, I picked this up for the kids. It's Wisconsin cheddar, so we'll try that. In comparison to Kraft, it was around the same price, I think 99 cents, and then I picked up some uh, bananas as well, and as you all know, Trader Joe's is only 19 cents per banana. And then these are definitely a staple in my house. I haven't been to Trader Joe's in a while, so I've been craving them, but they are the yogurts and their bananas and cream as well as strawberries and cream. They're my favorite flavor that they have at Trader Joe's even though they do have more flavors. Those are what we always pick up. 
And then both my kids love string cheese, so I went ahead and picked those up for them. They just go in the refrigerator and get them out all the time, and I realized that they've eaten 10 in a week, and then we go get some more. So got those to the kids. Reed gets to pick out um, the dessert every other time that we're in there. Kalen's usually not with us when we go to Trader Joe's, but when Reed is with me, uh, he picks it out. So this time he picked out the mint chip ice cream uh, by Trader Joe's. So we're gonna try that. And then they didn't have a whole gallon of organic whole milk normally. They, I've never gone in and they've not had the whole gallon. So I went ahead and got a half gallon, which is fine because I still have about a half gallon left in the refrigerator. And then this is the ham that I use that I was telling you that I make the wraps with the cheese and ham. This is the ham that I use. This is the Trader Joe's uncured black forest ham. No nitrates or nitrates added. Moving on to just like a snack that I like to have if I'm wanting something quick and easy to eat. I absolutely love this mushroom black truffle flatbread. So good. You could totally drizzle some of that balsamic on there and it would change the flavor and add that like bite to it. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then I picked this up for the kids um, to have in the fridge. We always have this chocolate whole milk in the refrigerator. It's my favorite, it's $3.99. I can drink that whole thing in a day, <laughs> but I try not to. And so I went ahead and picked up the orange peach mango because Kaylin's gonna be over tomorrow and I want her to be able to drink some of this because she loves peach and mango and orange juice. So they're all combined, she's gonna love that. And then I've been craving a burger. So this is the grass-fed Angus beef burgers. I've never seen these before at Trader Joe's. I'm sure that they've had them for a long time and I've just missed them. But they're kind of in a weird section like in the burrito aisle and then like the veggie burgers and stuff like that, which veggie burgers, it makes sense, which I've looked over there before and I've never seen these. So I picked that up. I'm not a lettuce fan. I don't, don't mind my mess over here. That's my boxes that still need to be put away. Um, I'm not a huge lettuce fan, but I love arugula. I love the flavor of arugula, so I bought that for my BLTs as well as any salads or anything that I wanna make around the house. Here's my tomato for my BLT, and then this is a go-to for me all the time because it's such a small serving of goat cheese. It's perfect for me to keep in the house, um, and it doesn't go bad before I can eat all of it, and I just love it, and I usually add that with the Trader Joe's pepper jelly, and then I put it on the Trader Joe's crackers, and it is such a good treat to have. Sometimes I make it a meal, and that's it. Um, I picked up my Dairy Pure half and half. This is what I use for my coffee creamer. And then last but not least, I picked up one of these roasted vegetable pizzas. This is also, you know, like a quick, easy snack for me to have. Reed wouldn't touch this with a 10 foot pole, but I love all the vegetables that are on it. So also another really delicious piece. And this would be really good with that balsamic drizzle as well. But that is everything that I picked up from Trader Joe's today. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And please give it a thumbs up if you did because it definitely helps my channel out and helps me grow in the community and I'm looking to definitely grow my channel. So if you like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Click on the bell and it'll notify you next time I upload a video. Thanks for watching guys, bye. So that was it for my um, Trader Joe's haul. So I went ahead and put everything away in the refrigerator and in the pantry. So I'm just gonna kinda let this footage roll in fast pace. So hopefully maybe you guys went grocery shopping as well and you're at home unpacking your groceries along with me. I was trying to organize the fridge as I was putting everything away because I hadn't really 100% organized it when I moved in. I just kind of threw everything in there. So now I'm just going through and organizing it to where I have my fruit drawer, which I do fruits and cheeses and meat in one drawer. And then I do all my vegetables in another drawer. And so I was just kind of organizing everything as I went. And by the way guys, I've already tried this um, horseradish hummus since I've shot this video and it is so good, it is completely gone. What I would do is I would take one slice of sourdough bread, toast it, then I would spread my goat cheese on that, 
And then I would do a layer of my horseradish hummus. Then I would sprinkle on some arugula and then I would do my balsamic glaze on the top. And it is like the best snack ever. I use it as a meal, obviously, but it is so good. I ate the entire loaf of sourdough bread. The goat cheese is gone and the horseradish hummus is gone. So you guys definitely need to pick up those three items. Actually, the arugula and the balsamic glaze as well are from Trader Joe's. So pick them up, try this snack. It's so good. So I'm done with the fridge. Now I moved over to my pantry, put away all the items there. Nope, just kidding. Here's some more fridge items that I found on the counter. And I noticed when I was shooting the video that there were several like condiments that I totally just skipped over. Um, I skipped over the unexpected cheddar cheese, um, which I've never tried that before, but I heard that it is awesome by Trader Joe. And then I also got just a marinara spaghetti sauce so that we can make spaghetti one night. Actually, tomorrow that sounds perfect. Um, for dinner and then or maybe even lunch and then I skipped over one of the hot sauces that Trader Joe's carries as well And then up here in this cabinet, I keep my Dunkin' Donuts, Dunkin' Donuts, what is wrong with me? My decaffeinated coffee pods, which I need to get like a cute little basket so that I can keep like four or five over by the coffee maker, which is on the other side of the kitchen. And then keep like my bulk of them over in my organizer on this side of the kitchen. Cause I hate walking all the way across the kitchen twice every morning to uh, load my pod. And it is super late right now at my house when I'm editing this video and you can hear the cats running around the house like crazies because you know cats, they're up all hours of the night. And these baskets I use in my fridge a lot for organizing. They're just from home goods. They're usually like anywhere from $5.99 to like $7.99, $9.99. And I like them just because they keep some of like your items that are not so pretty on the shelf, which you'll see me here. I'm having such a horrible time trying to get them <laughs> to fit on this top shelf, but I was persistent and I finally got them to all fit. But anyways, they're great for organizing like condiments or just anything that doesn't look really pretty on a shelf because there's so many different sizes and shapes and whatnot. As you can tell, I'm a little bit anal with my refrigerator, so I like everything to look a specific way. So definitely the baskets help to organize. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut up all the produce just because I've heard so many people say that when they cut their produce and they have it ready to eat that they are more likely to eat it, which is like such a no-brainer. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've bought a watermelon, put it in my refrigerator, and it went bad before I even cut it open. So I was gonna be proactive this time, and I just knew that I had to cut this watermelon open and um, get it ready for our family to eat. And it definitely worked because we've already eat half. We've already eat half. God, it's late. We've already eaten half of the watermelon, so it's definitely, definitely working because I know if I wouldn't have cut this the first day that it would still just be sitting as a whole watermelon in my refrigerator. And I was actually pretty impressed with my cutting skills when it's in fast motion. When it's not in fast motion, it's not very <laughs> impressive. And a side note, I thought this watermelon would be like, I don't know, a Tupperware of watermelon. I was wrong. It's so much watermelon. Like we've eaten the tar out of it. And like I said, we've only used half of it. 
So I uh, definitely won't get as big of a watermelon next time. But so much cheaper than buying it already sliced up in the store. I think this whole watermelon was $4.99. And I want to say if you go to Publix to get like four slices of watermelon, it's like six or seven ninety nine. So definitely more money when you have the store cut it up for you. And it does not take that long. And I used my vegetable cleaner that I purchased from Trader Joe's to clean the watermelon. I used it to clean my blueberries, my strawberries, everything. And it actually suds up. Like you look like you are definitely washing them. And strawberries as well. Like I thought $2.99 for the container of strawberries would last me maybe a week. But I still have probably half the container left that we all need to eat up before it goes bad. We do have a bearded dragon though. His name is Forrest and he loves strawberries. Um, just a heads up, there will be a video coming out in the future as well. If you see the color of my kitchen cabinets, they do not go with the renovations as well. We've replaced all of the flooring throughout the house and the new flooring that we've installed completely clashed with these cabinets. And I will say, my mother came, she literally just left two, three days ago. She stayed here for four days with me. She stayed on a... Let's see here, when did she get here? She got here on a Thursday through Monday and we kicked butt. We repainted all of the kitchen cabinets and both bathroom cabinets as well as my front door. So be on the lookout for that vlog because it is like life changing for me the way that my kitchen turned out, the way my bathrooms turned out. So make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and then click on the bell and it'll notify you when I upload that video. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload my Target haul next or if I'm going to do my kitchen makeover next, but either way, they're both going to be good videos for you guys to watch. Now, I don't know about your kids, but my kids definitely like to eat their watermelon like this versus without the rind. I don't know what it is. I know when I was a kid too, my mom used to bring them out to the pool like this. We would actually, it was when they had seeded watermelons. Um, we would actually take the seeds, spit them in the pool, and then dive down and get all the seeds out of the pool. That was a little game we played. So let me know in the comments below if you guys used to do that as kids as well.